Hey guys, I'm back for another video and welcome to 30 Myers Ranks. And today I'm pissed because I've been playing a lot of Bed Wars. Anyways, today we're going to talk about probably the most frustrating thing that us streamers have to deal with, and that is stream sniping. It's targeters, it's people that want a YouTube rank to show them on stream, they want to say their name, they want to have any reaction whatsoever, good or bad, attention seekers. The worst breed of high pixel players, worse than, I don't know about hackers, but they're up there, dude. It's just as bad for a YouTube rank, at least. So what is a stream sniper? I've, I think everyone knows what a targeter is. If you're playing Bed Wars, for example, if I'm playing unnicked, People will be like, hey, that's 30 virus. He has a red name. We should target his bed and kill him because I want to get a reaction out of him. Bruh. Oh, no. All right, you want to freaking mess with me, dude? Die. Lag back. We all know what a targeter is. There's someone that sees the red name. Ooh, shiny red name. Let me go target and be annoying and get his attention. So then, you know, they'll target from across the map in Bed Wars. For example, if Yellow Team knew I was 30 virus, I don't know, then they go for my bed, even though they should be trying to kill something like green. Uh -huh. What? But, um, yeah, so targeters are annoying, but, you know, that's to be expected. So that's why Hypixel has slash Nick. So you nick in the game, all is well. They don't see a red name, they don't target. Well, no, that is false. We're going to get into why that's false later and what other steps we can take. But let's just assume, right, for the time being, people know I'm 30 virus. So that's when stream sniping comes in. So, you know, again, slash nick works if you're recording and not streaming. But if I'm streaming, that changes everything. Because then my stream knows what game I'm playing, first of all, Bed Wars. They know what lobby I'm in, because if you look on the side there, M445K. Also, even if I'm nicked, they can see my nickname in the tab list. They can see the name of the people in my lobby. They can see all that. And then they can, you know, do this wonderful thing that I think is a bunch of BS, and it's the source of basically all sniping, targeting, stream sniping, what have you. And it's spam queuing lobbies. I think a stream sniper is like an evolved targeter. So it's not just somebody that's in your game that wants to kill you or get your attention or whatever. There's someone that's not in your game. They're from the internet. They're just out there watching your stream and they still want to kill you. They log in, they go into Bed Wars, they say, hey, 30 virus is streaming Bed Wars. Let's queue Bed Wars. Wait until he finishes his game. They look at that number in the sidebar. Am I in M44 5K? No. Okay, time to queue a new lobby. Am I in the YouTuber lobby? No. Queue a new game. Am I in the YouTuber lobby? No. And then they keep on going and going and going and going constantly, maybe even like 50 times until they find the lobby, they get in, and then they start targeting my bed from across the map again, killing me. Like, what if the game's just starting, right? And I'm going for red team. And the sniper is on, I don't know, gray team. I kill red bed. And then I run to diamonds, go to mid, and try and kill, I don't know, white team like I've been doing. And then while I'm off busy in mid, this guy, Gray, bridges over here, snipes my bed. Because, you know, it's kind of weird for someone to die in a rush on this map. And then I'm left vulnerable. And then I die because the sniper got in my game and ruined it. Now, again, that's what targeters do. But the stream sniper is able to see my screen. So on top of everything, they could see everything I'm doing in the game so if they see that i purchased a knockback stick they're gonna stay away from edges you know but yeah so they'll stay away from edges because they'll know hey 30 virus has a knockback stick better not mess with that or they will know hey he doesn't have a pearl let's fireball him from across the map so they get exclusive information they know when to target my bed because they'll notice on stream that i'm fighting somebody else like in an intense bridge duel, I don't know. So that's Bed Wars, right? What about Skyblock? So we're gonna talk about something that happened very recently. I was playing Skyblock, I was on a fishing stream. I wanted to just innocently be at the ice fishing area, you know, do my own thing, throw the bobber in the water, reel up a fish, repeat, doing that for my stream. And then, right, this guy, again, same thing, watching the stream, sees my lobby, Use games constantly until they get in. 
they get in my lobby and then they block me they jump constantly in front of my bobber and then i can't fish without moving constantly right because i'm gonna have to run around avoid their you know jumping in my face at first they just look like your typical attention seeker that's just jumping in your face like to you know be on camera but this is way worse so i continued you know avoiding this guy it's slightly annoying but i can still deal with it the guy's running around jumping in my face but then when the bobber has a fish and i'm about to pull back the fishing rod guess what happens the guy puts down gifts at my feet right the the jerry event gifts and then blocks me i cannot click on the bobber because the gift is in the way so this guy had sniped my lobby to spam gifts at my feet and completely blocked me from fishing because if i right click to pull back the bobber then nothing happens oh you're gonna do that you little dick i just bought three bows like an idiot what am i doing that was supposed to be arrow oh this is gonna be a risk this is gonna be a risk you know what whatever i'm doing it Woo! that's more like it nice miss what the hell is that But this guy was targeting me, right? I couldn't do anything about it at that point. I couldn't fish at all. So I had to leave the lobby, right? And then I queue a new lobby. Now, I was nicked when this happened. So, also with other protections in place. So here's what I do. I was in anti-snipe mode, so to speak. So I was not only nicked with Nick Hider, so you couldn't see who I was in the lobby, right? It just says 30 virus, but my nick is actually something else. You couldn't see other people's names. For example, that's why it says dash virus. But on top of that, when I entered the lobby, I had pressed F1, queued the game, then pressed F3 plus D at the same time. And what that does is it clears chat. So then the message in Hypixel that comes up saying, hey, you just joined this lobby, doesn't show up. I didn't press tab, because tab reveals the lobby in Skyblog at least. So, even with all of that, all this guy had to do was constantly spam Q Jerry event islands, or island lobbies. Oh, boy. The guy would spam Q lobbies and then run to the spot where I'm standing and then notice, hey, there's a guy standing in the same spot as 30 virus and he's wearing the same armor. Boom, we got him. Time to block him and throw gifts at his feet. Literally nothing I can do. Nothing I or Hypixel could do, except there is one thing Hypixel could do, but we're gonna get into that in a second once this game starts. As I said before, stream sniping at its core, the problem with it, or the thing that allows it, that allows people to do this is spam queuing lobbies. They could just, Spam a lobby, they queue a lobby. Am I in there? No. Leaves the game, queues again. Is he in here? No. You leave game, come back. That's all he has to do. I could have Nick Hider enabled. I could hide the thing here, right? I could go like this, right? With the scoreboard mod, I can set the background to the same color as the lobby. Now in Bed Wars, that doesn't work because the lobby is a different color, but in Skyblock, that works. It, it just says like, there's a, a complete blank screen that you can't see what lobby you're in. None of that matters because all they need to do is check that exact spot in every lobby they visit until they find me. And it takes them two seconds. So I think honestly, it's spam queuing that's the problem. Oh no. Oh, thank you for that. With the reach advantage. No. Green, why? Why do people diagonal rush? No! Good, he's going back. All I gotta do is kill him once. Thank you! Get out of here! You're done. So anyway, spam queuing is a problem, but let's keep moving on. What the? What the what? 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 No! Why are you here? What the? Oh! No! Oh my god! Here's an iron sword! No! Might I add, people target just because I'm a nickname as well. Look at this. 
Ooh, Nick, and he's punching me. That's not gonna help. It's so frustrating and probably the worst of all the stream sniping. Worse than bed wars, worse than preventing me from fishing. Also, there was a guy that was pearl. Uh, I was trying to pearl spam and the guy was blocking my explosive bow. That was really annoying too because it prevented me entirely from pearl spamming. But the worst of it is the idiots in the auction house. They see a red name and they're like, oh, let me just target him. I want to show up in his chat. Oh, you've been outbid by this person. People are so desperate for an ounce of attention and there is nothing that Hypixel does to stop it. For example, right? At the very start of my solo Hypixel Skyblock series, I wanted to bid on a grappling hook, right? I was like, oh yeah, let me just buy a grappling hook. Can't be too bad. Maximum, like maybe 5,000 coins. I go into the auction house, I bid on a grappling hook. People outbid me. Not only did they outbid me instantly, but they started a bid war and for the lulls, bid it up to like 2 million coins for a grappling hook. Do you know how long it takes to get 2 million coins if you're just starting in the game? It's obviously a snipe. And they got the attention they wanted, I guess, because they outbid the YouTuber. Oh, so funny. Even if you don't acknowledge it, the fact that the chat is seeing it is reason enough for them to be like, oh, I did something funny. No. Oh, and you know what's also fun is while I'm trying to AFK on my island, let's say I have like, I don't know, a chicken farm, right? I'm trying to farm chickens on my island because they make a lot of money. And then I AFK overnight. Let's say I forget to close the island. I log in the next day. My entire hopper system is full of boats. You know, those very valuable drops that I was supposed to get overnight, like, you know, worth like 10 million coins because the update just dropped. No, you get boats, 30 virus, because you are stupid and forgot to close your island. And then people abused a glitch to fill their inventory with items and then craft a boat and then just drop it on your island. And for some reason, your hoppers are able to pick up those boats and then you're sorry no you don't get any money you don't get any of the things you were grinding for because your hoppers are full of boats thank you have a nice day you know this attention seeking behavior keeps on going too on the forums right we all know the forums are toxic but they're especially toxic to youtubers now why maybe because they feel it's unfair that they get items maybe they don't like their content maybe they abuse the rank in some way or get this they say something bad about the YouTuber to trigger an argument in a thread so that it gets constantly bumped and then they all of a sudden get well-known member status for it because they made a thread that was controversial, started an argument, and they basically used the YouTuber's name to get clout and to get, again, bumped constantly. And they could lie they i've been told so many times that people are accusing me of like irl trading of macroing even of boosting they accused me of using updates before the update was real right abusing pre-update knowledge buying a bunch of items before the value went up all fake i talked about this in my first 30 virus rants video and it turns out they're doing it for attention. The attention seeking crappy behavior extends everywhere, not just on the server itself. And the moderators don't, they're not equipped for this because there's so many of these threads. Nope. So I found out Oh, that's a lot of emeralds. I found out recently that there used to be a rule against stream sniping and against targeting YouTubers. It was bannable. It was great. Staff actually stood up for us because people don't really understand that YouTubers are the punching bags of this freaking community. Not because everyone loves to hate on them. They love to get their attention. And the easiest way to get their attention is to cause crap. It's to start annoying drama and to just get in their way and mess them up just anything for attention even if it's bad attention like the easiest way to get a youtuber's attention is to piss them off and that is what people do and now the server just lets it happen we can use nick hider with slash nick people don't know who we are they notice we're nicks anyway because the nicks are obvious and it says player not found when you try to look them up doesn't work so people can just suspect you of being a youtuber and that's enough to get targeted Bruh, 
No! Yeah, there's so many little tricks that I have just to avoid these people, and they don't care. They just find a way through everything, and they... They will target until the end of time, and I think the only way to stop it is if the server itself actually did something to help protect YouTube ranks. Now, what do I propose they do? First of all, make stream sniping and targeting against the network rules. Because, yeah, like obviously, there's not that many YouTubers on the network adding a bunch of features to the game and a whole investigating process or whatever is kind of resource heavy, you know, just for a handful of players. But YouTubers are the ambassadors of the community, if you want to say what original Ace uh, says. But, like, we are the gateway between new players and the network. And when somebody watches a video, right, and there's a guy stream sniping, that doesn't look like fun. Like, why should I play on this high pixel server if all that happens is I try to mind my business and people are just annoying? It's not a good look. So first of all, there needs to be a rule against stream sniping. I think that it should be reportable. It should be something that the staff actually look into. There'd be maybe even a specific person that looks into this stuff. Second off, I think they need to upgrade slash Nick. Right now, it barely works, you know? Cause like you have to change your Nick constantly cause people are gonna find out what lobby you're in. They'll see, hey, look, there's a lobby in the tab list. Hey, we found out his nick. Now he has to change it. How else can Hypixel fix this, right? So first of all, policy change, important as hell. Second off, we need some features to help with this. So I think when a YouTube rank is nicked, this number right here, M582N, should be hidden. You should not be able to see that number if you're nicked as a YouTube rank. Also, it shouldn't show up in the tab list. It shouldn't show up in the chat. It says, oh, joining server and then the name. See, look, sending you to mini 582N. No, if you're nicked, hide that message because people are using it to find YouTuber lobbies and snipe them and be annoying. So there's that. And the other thing is if you're playing a game like Bed Wars, right? Your nickname gets revealed after all it takes is one person to just so happen to be in your game, which could happen while you're streaming. And then they know your nickname and they start spreading it amongst their friends and then they start sniping it. Just make it so your, make it so your nickname changes between games. If you queue a new Bed Wars lobby, automatically change your nick too at the same time. Like maybe just have it automatic, you know, have a setting so you can automatically do that. And here we go, another person saying, oh, we have a nick. That needs to not be a thing. We need to make it so when somebody's nicked, it shouldn't be obvious that they're nicked. Right now it's obvious. Another suggestion could be having blindness in the pregame lobby. Disable players so you can't see other players in the pregame. You can't see the map while in the pregame. The tab list doesn't show what map it is. And there's a whole bunch of ways to reveal nicks if you're in Skyblock, dude. All you need to do is click on someone's profile and then instantly you know who they are. Oh my god, this guy. Okay, hold on. We need to take a, a quick commercial break here because this guy is being ridiculous. Bye! So in Skyblock, right? All you need to do to figure out if someone's a YouTube rank, right? You can even find out which YouTuber they are. If you suspect someone of being a YouTube rank, all you gotta do is right click on their profile and then it will show which co-op they're in. And then it lists all the members of that co-op. And then boom. If they click on my name, hey, look, this guy's on an island with 30 virus on it. Oh, I wonder who he is then, because 30 virus is on a solo island. So yeah, people have used this before to figure out who I am before the stream even started. I wasn't even recording or streaming yet, and they already found me out and were starting to be annoying. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is if you're nicked while on your island, it... Pink, why? Yeah, when you're nicked on your island, it doesn't show the visitor symbol, so people immediately know that you're a member of the island, and again, if you're 30 virus with a solo island, that's him! So that's the other thing, while you're nicked, it should show this visitor thing. I'm so angry. This is like the actual 30 virus rant. Like, th those other videos, sure, I was like, I was calm and collected just talking about my problems with things, but now I'm actually like straight up pissed. Ha <laughs> ha.
And I want this to stop. It's been happening for years. Also, I'm pretty sure in the slash report menu, you can find out who someone is through their nick. There he goes. Oh, one thing I completely forgot about. Yeah, in Skyblock especially, anonymous auctions. This is something I didn't even get into, but right? People snipe me in the auction house, right? I think I talked about that earlier. But to combat that, I made an alt account, right? For the purpose of being able to bid on the auction without people sniping me, right? Simple enough. Aw, oh, you suck. No. There he goes. People found the alt. <laughs> Not surprisingly. And then they started accusing me of account boosting because I had an alt. Even though I was literally using it to auction as a surrogate account. It's annoying. Anyway, I think I've been angry on camera for long enough. This is the most angry I've ever been of a topic of a 30 virus rants. But I think it's really important that sniping should first of all be bannable but there needs to be a ton of features in place not even that many actually it's, it's like most importantly it's like three big features and a bunch of them are little quote fixes bug fixes that could help make it just a little bit more pleasant for youtubers because we literally cannot play the game as normal players because of our audience and i just want to be able to play the game man so anyway welcome or not welcome <laughs> thank you for attending my ted talk i hope you enjoyed and um I'm going to attempt to do it. Okay, yeah. So even though I'm very angry right now, I am very happy to see that people like the bad Lion Cloak. Look at this beautiful thing. It is the Matrix on my back. You should get it. Linked in the pinned comment. Uh, bad Lion Client. Cool stuff. Anyway, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.